Y'all, we're at the pond. It's pretty early in the morning, but it's kind of so, it's like pretty much day one of moving day. And I'm not moving the fish yet because that pond needs a little bit of work before I put them in there. So they're going in the 55 gallon fish tank. And I don't feel like chasing around and taking a slime cut off because that's what it'll do if you chase them around. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna unplug the, unplug one of the things. That, that right there needs cleaning. So that's why it's like that and so does the filter and yeah. But I'm just gonna unplug the, one of the, um, whatever you wanna call it, the tubes and just let the pond start draining and once it gets pretty low then I'll get them. So I'll see y'all once the pond's pretty low. So what you do when you're trying to catch fish with a net is you always want to make sure your net is good and wet because you know take that slime coat off. Okay, but now got one. Let's see if I can get both of them. Okay, I got both of them. Alright, now I need to run inside, so I'm just going to see y'all once I and put them in the tank. Alright, y'all, I don't want to take too long to put them in, but I got both the koi in. They won't be in here too long, it's just like maybe a day or two at the most. So, who knows right there? No, he's not dead, he's just, he let me like, see what he's moving. So, he's eating black dots, I don't know what that's about, but it's kind of cool. But they're right there. So, they're doing, they'll do okay in here. Uh, I might put them in even maybe today. I don't know. Y'all seen in the video I make today. But I got to go there and clean up that pond because they didn't do too good. So, yeah, I got to take some of this. Now I got some more stuff at the new house. And, yeah, so I'll just see y'all once we go to the new house. Then. All right, y'all, so we're at the new house. And this is the pond. Fairly big pond. But that's I'm gonna put my waterfall up there, and it's gonna look a whole lot better. And that over there is gonna be over there. They just had a tube, but right now I'm draining it. It's kind of nasty. Now that's two pumps, so I'm putting that pump, a pretty big pump, and then that pump over there. Let me just show you. Oh. That pump's right there, and it's got a little filter box on it, so that should be good too. And that's the cord where you put the pump that goes up to the waterfall at and I'm probably about to put my waterfall there and yeah let's just let's just do that real quick so I got my filter right here and it needs some cleaning and this is all I have to clean it with so, hoping this does the job good enough and yeah I'll see how once I put it up there so, this pond's got a bunch of leaves and like, oh, Lord, there's a frog. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a bunch of leaves and like, I don't know, just nasty stuff. And what I'm doing is, can you see down here in this corner here? There's all this and all the stuff that was like all right here. I washed it all down here and I do something like that and I'd go like this. And I'd get, I'd, I was getting more, like, here. Let's go. pretty big decent pond and, and slippery but also what I've done is I've put my filter right here and this tube goes all through up here and then here and I put my waterfall here so it's more of a flat one because it had that little bowl right there and it's got two pumps and one pump was just pumping a tube out right there and and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna put that bowl set right here and it's gonna pour into the pond it's just extra oxygen. So really, all I gotta do is just pretty much just keep spraying and spraying and spraying and getting all these gunk out. And then I'll just keep doing water changes, pumping in and uh, pumping water in and pumping water out just at the same time until it's crystal clear. 
Hey, what they did was they poured. They poured bleach in the pond. They thought that would clean. No, that's not how that works. So I've got ick X, which I think I've showed y'all, and X to kill like a bacteria in the pond. I got that, and then I've also got um, jungle. The brand's jungle. It clear, cl cleans chlorine, and um, like it's once you pour that in, let it cycle for a little bit, like an hour, then you can pour your fish in. I'm probably gonna cycle it for the rest of the day. And hopefully that'll be good to put my two koi and my Uno, er, my uh, crawfish in here. And this is a big pond for just them, so. Y'all know we got future videos coming to put more koi in here. But other than that, I'm going to get back to cleaning. And I'll see y'all once I clean a little bit more. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So, I've kind of covered it a little bit i'm gonna get some more rocks and stuff but i'll get that on the front oh uh, that might look kind of cool uh, but yeah and then so this pump right here is gonna be right here when it fills up it's gonna pump up all the way into this filter which is a pretty big filter and then it'll go into this tube all the way up there and pour out the waterfall and right now what i'm doing try not to slip is got the water hose and it's stirring up all the little bit that's left not very much is left and it's pumping it out and then it's coming all the way down to this little pump right here it's got a leaf in it i try to get as much leaves as i can now i guess i'm just going to use that as a junk pump right now and then i'll clean it back up and fix it up but and then this pump which is mine from home it's, it's over here with a tube it's got this nasty water but it's pumping it to this pump again so really this is pumping the gunk there this is pumping the gunk there and we're putting fresh clean water in and pumping the dirty water out and eventually you just keep cycling it gosh you keep cycling it until it's crystal clear and then and then i start adding all my pretty much chemicals into it to make this pond good and ready to put fish back into it so yeah so this is just how i'm gonna do it not very much to it once it starts clearing up a good bit and i guess i'll show y'all but it's pretty big pond honestly so yeah i'm gonna have to get some more fish so put down in the comments what kind of fish i should get all right so drew's riding on my rocks dude <laughs> um but we tried hiding the waterfall just a little bit we got a bunch of flat rocks that they left here and <sighs> I'm hoping this is still going to be level, but, like, see, yeah, I've got this just going, like, right there, and that might slide, I don't know. But we've covered, like, the back and a little bit of that. Might get another one to go across from there, but, yeah, so let me, so you can barely even see the waterfall, so it looks kind of natural. Mm. And we might go get some more and cover some of that. Yeah, either just probably cut that. Um, but, yeah, it's starting to get clear over there i'm still trying to pump water over to there i might move the water hose over there so it just starts going all the way over there um but yeah well once i do something different i'll give you all another update so i'll see y'all then so it's filling up a good bit i've got this thing shooting out right now yeah i'm probably gonna mess with it a little more or i might actually just get something else to pump right there like um maybe i've seen frogs before how they kind of shoot the water out maybe something like that I don't know. I'm just going to look online and try Amazon. Amazon's got a good bit of good stuff. But right now, I'm putting water in. And once it gets pretty full, then I'll turn this pump on and put the stuff that goes in here in. And hopefully, this waterfall runs good and it'll be a good pond. But it looks smaller on camera, but it's actually a pretty decent sized pond. But once it fills up a good bit more, I'll show y'all. Right, so it's getting there pretty good. Okay. Now. I'm about to turn the waterfall, but I'm also about to. My dad said this is probably more than 480 gallons, just how much this stuff right here treats. So, I'm just gonna go around the pump, open this up, and pretty much just 
pour the whole bottle in. Hopefully, this. Okay, that's that whole bottle of that. While we're over here, I forgot the top. This is the top. There's also another top that goes over it, and it will spill over if that top's not on. So I can't do that. So there's not going to be that big filter on it, but it's at least going to. Oh crap! Okay, here we go. The video stopped for some reason. That looks pretty good. What does it look like without that rock? That's pretty good. Maybe if I put it like that. I don't know. Maybe we'll get it. Oh, that would be fine right now. But yeah, that's the waterfall, and then we have that. They got plenty of boxes in here. Just poured all of that in there. Now we're gonna pour ick in it to clean out the bacteria. Yeah. This ick stuff is a very dark blue, and I'm just gonna, oh gosh, it's gonna stain my rock. Oh, and my fingers, great. Okay, you know what? Actually, just going to, it needs a lot. Okay, that should be good. God, I got it all over my rock. Whatever, it'll be okay. Okay, now I'm hoping it goes through the pumps and everything and hands the blue. Palm water's kind of blue, but look at that. that looks pretty good. I think I did decently good today. But yeah, this is part one of this video. It's gonna fill up more. The water hose is still going. It's just taking a while. But this is probably where I'm gonna end the video because we're gonna be probably leaving soon. And going back to the old house, I still got a lot to move. But yeah, the waterfall's doing good. That I might get something different, maybe like a frog or something. I don't know. Or I'll just keep it like that. I don't know. But yeah, so I did a good bit today. Covered that waterfall. It looks pretty natural to me. Uh, next time I come, I'm gonna get the top for that filter right there. And yeah, but I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me work on this pond a little bit. Seeing how I mean, it was already here, but I've worked. I did a good bit. Got all the leaves out. Next step is, of course, getting that filter and putting rocks all in the bottom and putting rocks against the walls and make sure making it look a whole lot more like natural. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed seeing that today. Um, I'm at as Molo at 334. If y'all watching this, ain't subscribed. I got a whole lot more videos to come. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.